Yes, good afternoon. Sava here from Football Heritage TV. Happy Monday to you. Hope everyone's week has started well. Today is a crunch day in the Harry Kane transfer saga. That's all you can call it. Daniel Levy is currently, as we speak right now, as I make this video at 1 p.m. on Monday afternoon, Greenwich Mean Time, Daniel Levy is locked in meetings with Bayern Munich officials. People, start getting used to this. The Harry Kane deal to buy Munich could be on. Yes, people, it's that time, isn't it? It's a time in every club's life where something's going to happen, fans won't be happy with, but things come to an end. All good things must come to an end. Tottenham Hotspur have had Harry Kane since he was a kid. He's gone out on loan. He's carved his own path. And now for about the last eight, nine, ten seasons, we've had Harry Kane banging in goals for fun at Tottenham Hotspur. Some might say carrying the club for most of those years. But all good things must come to an end. And it looks like this could be happening. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say it is 100% happening. But it looks like the deal is on if Bayern Munich want it to be. Let's break this down. So as we know, the meeting was due to be taking place on Friday. But for whatever reason, Daniel Levy postponed it and moved it to Monday morning. Today, this morning, it was reported that they were landing into London at 11.15, 11.30 a.m. You even had people out there with their looking at Skyscanner to see what time the flights landed. And absolutely madness what happens in football transfers. And it is rumoured that they are now locked in rooms having discussions. Now, let's break this down. You can look at this a number of ways. I tend to look at it like this. If Spurs didn't have any intention of selling Harry Kane at all, then why on earth would we be meeting with Bayern Munich? That's the first question. For me, that would be the most important question. Before people, people will put in the comments, people will, uh, when they're watching this back, they'll add into the comments and go, he's not going, he's not for sale at all. But can that be true if we're meeting Bayern Munich officials? If you have got no interest in selling something, and I mean categorically no interest, no matter how much money someone puts on the table, why are you meeting them? I don't meet an estate agent because they can tell me they can get me 10 million for my house if I have no interest in selling it. But if I want to sell it for 10 million, I'll meet them and start having conversations. By the way, my house is not worth 10 million pounds. This was just a hypothetical. So there must be some willing from Daniel Levy and the Tottenham Hotspur board to sell Harry Kane. Surely that's common sense, isn't it? Now, that's very different to will Bayern Munich meet the number that we want? That's a very different discussion. And this is where I think people get things conflated. This is where I think people confuse the two situations. I've always been a believer that if the right money is put down, that Harry Kane will go. I haven't changed my stance on that all summer. I believe that that number needs to look at £85 million sterling minimum, but then with add-ons, etc., more likely for me would be £90 million sterling minimum with add-ons, etc. Now, Bayern Munich haven't gone away. They put in two bids. Some might call them derisory. They've gone away and they've come back with a different bid. And now they're coming back to talk to us again. And all the reports are saying the bid is going to be 100 million euros, which is roughly, give or take, 85 million pounds. Now, is that enough to get Daniel Levy talking? Is that enough for a guy that has made it very clear, according to sources and reports, that he doesn't want to be here after this season? Are Spurs in a position, are we in a financial position to turn around and say, no, we don't want your 85-90, we're happy for him to walk on a free? 
Now, people will be screaming right now. And I'm screaming inside going, we shouldn't need Harry Kane money to make transfer happen. No, of course we shouldn't. But for some reason, we find ourselves there. So let's start at that pace, at that base. If we're going to start at this base that we need money to make transfers happen, forget that it's ridiculous. I get it. It is. I agree. But if that is the case and that we've spent our budget, let's say, on Poro, Kulu, Madison, Vicario, and whatever the wages were for Manuel Solomon, if we've spent our budget and that was all the budget we had and we now need money to buy the centre-halves and a midfielder that we need, we would be mad to turn down 85 to 90 million, wouldn't we? Think about it. If we remove our emotions, if we remove our emotional and personal attachment to Harry Kane, this guy going on a free, as opposed to selling him now and buying the players we need, it's a no-brainer. But, some people I know will not be able to remove their personal and emotional attachment to Harry Kane. And they will still argue that keeping him for one year is better than losing him, uh, than, than, than accepting 85, 90 million. That's simply not true. Letting go of a player of that ilk for free will be a kick in the teeth. And when those people are watching him in a Liverpool shirt, a Man U shirt, God forbid, a Chelsea shirt, that is when we'll go, oh, well, maybe we should have sold him. So Captain Hindsight is kicking in a little bit here, but let's try and think a bit further forward. Let's go past the end of our nose and have a look at the future. Now, people will come in and go, well, Mason Mount went for 65 million. And Declan Rice went for 105. Problem is, Harry Kane will walk wherever he wants to next year on a free. Problem is, this guy can get you 90 million. Do we want to be greedy and hold out for 100, 105? Is that going to make that much difference? Very, very interesting. Now, there is, of course, a case where Daniel Levy turns around and says, OK, I've listened to you. This nonsense has gone on for months or for a month. You've said all the things you've said. Your president said it. Your honorary president has said it. Your CEO said it. Your reporters are getting out cane shirts. Kane, buying shirts with Kane on the back. He might be saying, right, okay, I've listened to you. This is the price. I want 105, 110 million or go away. But I think he'd be crazy to do that. This is Daniel Levy. We know what he's like. But if the ego gets in the way of what is best for this club, then I truly, truly worry. Now, some people will watch this and be like, yes, yeah, Sava, I absolutely understand what you're saying. Other people who don't use critical thinking will sit in the chat right now and go, oh, my God, Sava wants to sell Kane because they won't have been listening. I've said all along, and I'll stand by this. Harry Kane wants to sign a new contract. Cool. Sign the new contract. All of this goes away. But you know what? He's not signed a new contract. And you know what? Him, the club, his people... None of them have come and shut down these Harry Kane by Munich talks. After the first bid, you would have think they would have come out and said, Harry's got no interest in going to Germany. Second bid, Harry Kane's got no interest in going to Germany. All these talks about them coming over and meeting today. Harry Kane's got no interest in going to Germany. Hasn't happened. A lot of the conversation, a lot of the reports are that he is open to this move. And if he is open to this move and he is keen to get out the club and not sign a new contract, you've got to sell him and get money for him. You've got to. It will be gross negligence. So, people, when I say the deal is on, the deal is on if Bayern Munich want to make it happen. I don't believe there'll be any issues with salary. I don't believe there'll be any issues with add-ons. Can they afford that bottom price that Levy is prepared to accept for England's captain. One thing I know for sure, Spurs fans are bored of this now. Every summer, will he, won't he? Well, he's clearly not signing a new contract. 
He's let it run down to the last year. He's let all of these talks happen. I think we've got our answer. For me, sell the guy. Thank him for everything he's done. Club legend. Move on. And Tottenham Hotspur crack on as a football club. We will survive all this talk of relegation. This is not going to happen. We will be fine. We will kick on. Tottenham Hotspur Football Club, not Harry Kane FC. Please like, please subscribe. I'll be back at half past six as we will have more news about what's happened today at Tottenham and what happened in the meeting between Harry Kane's, uh, sorry, Harry Kane's people, Daniel Levy and the Bayern Munich representatives. Please like, please subscribe. and Thank you very much. Have a good day.